Welcome out gamers and gamers to this RGL.GG Invite Highlander cast. We are on CP Steel here in Season 18, Week 7, watching Dreamy Bull's Kitchen take on Ohio Leaf Village. I am Alto, joined by Zach to my side, Dolphin behind the camera as always. Zach, how you doing tonight? Doing good, nice to be back from Hurricane Jail. I was out of power for five days, but back at just in time for CP Steel. And we got an interesting match tonight, uh, Ohio Leaf Village versus Dreamy Bull's Kitchen. This match has some playoff implication in that Dreamy Bull really need to snag at least a round here to keep their playoff odds alive. They're currently in a race with hardworking Hornets for that last slot, and assuming Ohio Leaf Village don't lose to the Imposters next week, it's pretty much there's only one slot up for grabs, and it's between Dreamy Bull and Hornets. So this match going to be important for Dreamy Bull's Kitchen to put up as good a performance as possible. Yeah, and you might, if you've been, if you've been watching, if you watched last week, you might be saying, wait, I thought all the seeds were locked up, and we did too. But uh, Dream Meeples, after taking, you know, a 9-0 over Froggy Land last week, they kind of edged themselves into the conversation here. You know, I, I don't think, given given some of their previous match results, their 9-0 loss to somebody help. You know, they dropped a half to Imposters. They didn't, they, they weren't looking like a team that might be able to come into playoffs. But the combination of the win over Froggy Land, as well as, from what we've heard, is a number of really strong scrim results throughout the season, against Ohio Leaf Village especially as well. You know, there could be an outside shot that they take a round here, you know, or a win. Suddenly they're angling themselves. They play hardworking Hornets next week, which previously we thought might have been just, you know, more of a, a higher seed beating down on a lower seed could be a lot closer than we we're giving it credit for. So that and uh, split purpose of otherwise we would have been casting somebody help five weeks in a row, which we can uh, <laughs> we can do better than that to get some more teams in here. So. Yeah, sadly we don't get to see to the, the help versus uh the, the help versus study dudes matchup on steel. That would have been fun, but yeah, I'm sure that the the play implications of that one are not nearly as important. And yeah, like you said, five weeks in a row for somebody to help get some other teams on the cast here. With that said, we can run down the rosters on the side of Dreamables Kitchen. We got RJ B N R on Scout. I'm just gonna pretty call sure him RJ. That's, pretty sure that's snowy. I think snowy. Pretty sure. We got Apple Zoo on Soldier, Sarah's on Pyro, Crump on Demo Man, Deleted Taters on Heavy, Co on Engineer, Nines on Medic, Brian on Sniper, and Pupper on Spy. Over on the side of Ohio Leaf Village, it will be DT on Scout, Voyager on Soldier, Leaf on Pyro, Mori on Demo Man, Dotwood Heavy, Celery Engineer, Sakura Medic, Buko on Sniper, and Jacob on Spy. Yeah, and obviously, like looking across the rosters. The name recognition gap is pretty extreme. We have uh, players like Mori, Jacob, mo like mostly Jacob, but also like Mori, DT, Leaf, Dawet that have been stalwarts of invite, like middle to high invite for decent amount of time now, a few seasons now for almost all of them. And on the other side, Jimmy Bull's Kitchen, a lot more newer players coming through and performing very well, honestly. Like they have a good shot at playoffs, as we're saying. So these players can keep making uh, good progress. We mentioned that the scrim results for them have been very good. It might be a bit dangerous to underestimate them if you're Ohio Leaf. Dolphin, I just put some logs in Mumble. Any chance we can pull those up on stream? These are uh, scrim logs from last week between these two teams. And, uh, you know, scrim logs are scrim logs, right? Teams are practicing. We don't want to put too much stock into this. But a 5-2 in favor of Dreamyville's Kitchen over Ohio Leaf here is surprising. You know, I would not have... Uh, this is not anything I would have guessed coming into the season. But, you know, you can look, even just a, you know, a quick sort by kills is probably going to give you the players on Game Evil's Kitchen, DK, as we're probably going to end up calling them. Uh, no uh, yes. To the, to the old legends is uh, the three players that you really probably want to be looking at here. That is Brian on Sniper, Snowy on Scout, and Deleted Taters on Heavy. Uh, Deleted Taters, definitely more of a newcomer, I think. I think first season an invite as a... Dream Evil's Kitchen won advanced last season. Or no, they did not win advanced. I'm sorry. No, they were first seed. Just managed to lose out in the playoffs to uh, Worst Comp Format, who are also an invite this season, but went for the move up and have uh, have been doing better than their finals rival from last season. So you, know, you can see it here. Definitely some, some gaps across some certain players. I mean, Crump on demo, you know, team leader, someone I think not someone I would have pegged as outperforming Mori to that degree coming into the season, but, you know, the uh, the proof's in the pudding right there. So that was Koth. I've heard that the team does do better on Koth than on Stopwatch, but Steel 
you know, is always going to give both teams a shot. So, really could be anyone's game tonight, I think. Yeah, much different uh, playing field here tonight on CP Steel. A lot of the simplicity that Koth brings kind of goes out the window on a map like this, where you'd expect the, the Highlander veterans to kind of have a bit more of an idea of what to do coming into the match uh, immediately. We'll have to see what Dream Bull's Kitchen has to actually uh, provide here on CP Steel. And is, I think this is their first like invite match on CP Steel on a map like this. So it, it's definitely a step up in terms of like difficulty than just running on cough and uh, fragging as well as you can can be. So it's going to be interesting to see what they can do. Predictions available right now. I don't know who I want, who I think is going to take this one, right? You're. Your instincts say that a Highly Village just has the names, they have the experience, they have like the ability to play on steel, but the scrim logs combined with how I, I feel like Highly Village has not been playing up to their potential all season, and Dream Bowl's Kitchen being a bunch of come ups that are playing well, I, I might be leaning slightly in their favor. I do feel like this one's gonna go three rounds though. Yeah, I think I'll 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 give the boring prediction. I'll say two one Ohio Leaf. I'll get the slightly uh, more exciting prediction than two one Dream Bowl. All right, we're on opposite sides here, so hopefully we'll see. Hopefully we will see those three rounds, like because I want to see both of these teams kind of uh, both show us what they're made of right here. I think. I mean, it's just you think about Jacob's calling ability on Steel. Even if he's not performing on Spy, he's always going to bring that, and that to me feels like it's. Uh, it could potentially be a difference maker, but I mean. We saw some DM gaps in the scrim logs last week. You know, if those manifest again, there could be uh, there could be favor for Dream Evil's Kitchen. I mean, obviously, I think the combos are going to be really big here. I think if uh, Crump and Taters are able to really show their metal here and fight head to head with uh, with Mori and Dotwet, then I think you're going to be able to see Brian maybe make a difference in that. I mean, unfortunately, I don't think uh, Snowy is going to have too much of an impact. You know, Steel. Famously, a, a pretty rough scout map. All the indoors uh, quarters, all the indoors rooms, close quarters. You know, easy to easy to spam jokes. Ends up making it a little bit more of a soldier paradise. So we'll have to see if uh, Apples is able to keep up with Voyager as well. Yeah, and you mentioned it uh, while we were looking at those scrim logs, but I really just a big magnifying glass on the Crumb versus Mori matchup because Steel is so close quarters, and the the Ubers are very face tank centric where you're just trying to run forward, put well-placed stickies, get people in the right spots. Seeing these demo men and what they can do is going to be... They're, they're basically going to lead the entire uh, ebb and flow of momentum on this map. So if Mori can you know, perform more like the Mori we know, where he should be able to kind of put the, the move-up demo men in their place a little bit, then it'd be a big boon for a high relief. But if Crump can you know, continue to dominate him, then... It's just going to be really hard for Ohio Lee Village to start getting rolling. You might see them fall behind early. The more we know, is that with or without the lock and load. <laughs> That's true. Well, maybe he's in a post-lock and load hangover right now. We'll see. Yeah, looks like teams are about to go live. So we've got our presence and we've got a split desk, but I'm hoping for three rounds either way. Teams are live here. It will be Ohio Lee Village on the blue team and uh, CK on the red. So minute left we are worth noting on stock cp steel right now not the refresh version that have been played the past few seasons uh the two main changes here are in the b tunnel outside of a uh, blues b spawn you know it's no longer just one straight hallway there's an extra corridor you're not forced into that sniper site one nearly as much and uh some of the geography on the back of d has changed a little bit that uh that spawn door not quite what it was but ultimately most things pretty similar i think uh also upper b has been widened out a little bit makes it a little bit easier to hold as an ammo pack up there so uh, a heavier soldier could maybe stay up there a little bit longer than needed to drop down for ammo but we'll see if any of those changes come in right as we're getting live yeah, Dispenser's really close to the edge right now for Dream Bull's Kitchen. That, uh, a couple things. One, it's harder for your medic to stand that close to dodge a potential sniper drop shot. But two, it can just die to spam. Like, a couple around the corner would end up doing that Dispenser in. Gates have dropped. A couple players poking, prodding out of B while the main force goes to cap A up for now. Jacob, unfortunately, first out of the match, not able to get in oh, behind it just yet. Oh, he upper and got the telly. That, he did that while they're capping A. That was really quick. 
Yeah, they do have the Soul Drew Bump up there. Mori trying to peek, get some damage down, takes a lot of spam in return. They're gonna get that Telly back up, rebuilding right now, Co putting that one up there, so let's see what they decide to do. Right now, a couple of flank forces coming through onto the AE connector. Meanwhile, the main combo force kind of rolling out through B Tunnel. They're using that new tunnel to try and get up the side a bit. Dawit wants to take some space here. Tougher is over on the A side as well, getting comms with that. But the Ubers are exchanged out right here. Really, no progress made at all for Ohio Leaf. Watch but the fast flank, by Voyager the way. coming yeah, in. Yeah, Voyager. From Wishbone. The gun's wrangled. It doesn't, it's not able to do anything here. Voyager gonna spam down onto the sentry gun. Unfortunately, the main force did kind of get put down a bit. Desperation jump from Voyager trying to get this medic, but Surf onto the platform for Nines trying to get back. Sniper shot taking down Brian Nines in no man's land. Trying to get out. Bail the fight fade away from Mori. Takes down that medic, and now the full advantage goes in favor of Ohio Lee Village. Yeah, sending every, having all eight of your combat classes on B, you kind of see the downside to that. With uh, with just the DT and Voyager flank coming through, it's so much pressure. Really makes the defense scatter. They spread out. They move into Buko's sightlines in spots where they might not have normally. And we're gonna see a really quick decap come out. We're noting that the Uber out of Ohio Leaf really didn't do anything. That was yeah, all it, it got shut post back. Uber, you know, collapse coming in from Wishbone, as it looks like the uh, DK combo is going to move into C right now. Yeah, and that's the kind of thing I was talking about, where a, a team like Dream Bulls Kitchen, that's an invite move, it's an advanced move up, first season in invite, that's the kind of mistake you see from a first time team in invite, where, yeah, they did not have anyone watching their flank. Soldier Scout got a free pass into the B site, and now Free Uber coming out onto C, trying whatever kills they can. They find a lot caught out, Apple Zoo, Crump, Snowy, all going to go down, so this C cap going to be pretty uncontested. Tater's trying to peek out here, does a decent amount of damage, but but we'll just get taken down in the end. Mori doing a good job on that, and now C is gone. Well, interested in the, the point of Taters peeking out there. I mean, we, you know, you you get their Uber out. You know you have Uber Descent coming off of B. You're probably pretty happy, right, to give up C in exchange for the Uber, because it means you can get lobbying hold. But Tater's still not alive on those nasty 28-second spawn timers. They're not even going to make it into the lobby. They get to comes caught. Yeah. Yes. Oh, the Uber. Nines against an Uber off, but... Not only gonna, only gonna have Snowy to really uh, use it in on point. Sniper Uber. Look at all the cleanup though. It's enough. Yeah, Apple Zoo did a ton of damage with rockets in that, and they just end up killing all the players who went through Death Hallway. That's again why the hallway is named Death Hallway. And that should give some time for Dream Bull's Kitchen to kind of stabilize here. They do have a level 2 sentry gun built up in heaven. They got the sniper, Brian, charged up behind it as well. Buko losing that SVS, and this should buy a lot of space for the defense to spread out here. Jake is getting uh, caught out in D, but he's got the cavalry coming. They gave up lobby. They just didn't have the numbers. And the pipe oh. coming in from Mori. Find Nines in that new alpha by the spawn door. Wasn't in or out, and Nines is going to pay for it with their life right there. Sakura, however, does manage, I think, to... No, I think Sakura went down, yeah. Looks like uh, she spawned up as well. So both men's going down, but Nines, those field defense timers, absolutely massive, just now coming up. 20 this side, Buko now winning the SPS over Brian too. Lots of ads in favor of Ohio Leaf here. Yeah, and Buko getting a bit of revenge there on Brian. Now uncontested in that sniper window. Jacob goes for the sap on the gun with some spam. We'll take it down. So Heaven now very weak for Dream Bull's Kitchen. Main combo force taking space. Buko taking more space. Takes down Puffer and getting here. Takes down Ko. Buko is unrestrained on this E point here. And the rest of the combo, just going to walk into D off it. Yeah. Brian, though, finds a big shot on Sakura, right, as she's walking in. Which means no Uber here could be kind of a, uh, a saving grace right now. There's no actual cap time on E. All the combo is on D right now. They're not looking to try to split any cap time, giving time for the DK combo to respawn, maybe get set back up. Buko still a nuisance here on E, but they're likely going to get Voyager out of heaven, so that's step one down. Buko slowly well. getting chipped as now Sakura in on E, but she's only 20%. Nine sitting on 90 in this DE connector. Well, Crump should not have fed there. Crump needed to stay alive. They have Uber coming up, but without a demo man, who's going to run out here to take this Uber charge? It has, to, gonna be have to, be taters. it has to be Taters. No one else can block it. It's going to be Nines is going to have to maybe block the point. Taters just trying to shoot what he can. Great shot by Brian, the sniper Uber for the second time. Gonna manage to find Voyager before he gets safe into heaven. Look at Mori, just what a shot by Brian. What a shot. Just immediately takes down Mori. Darwet is here though with the main force. Soccer, one HP, almost burning out. Will go down in the back. Snowy, a lot of kills. 4k for the scout, make it a 5k. Cleaning up everyone on this E point. And Dreamable's Kitchen staying alive here. Yeah, Brian, absolutely huge there. He's gotten two Ubers and honestly, they might just keep giving it to him with how many shots he is landing right now.
able to get Void before he gets up into Heaven is huge. I think landed the shot onto Crump, I want to say, as or enough Crump. Uh, Mori to take out that demo is really just keeping the combo afloat here. Crump, as he said, some really not clean deaths, dying at really bad times. And Brian, now again, the shot onto Buko up in JFK. So, really solid sniper ad right now. They don't have D, but they don't matter. They don't need the spawn door. They're comfortable oh, with Jacob just putting the connector. Yeah, Jacob just, he got air blasted accidentally when he tried to jump into lower. <laughs> when he was close, <laughs> and he just falls into the pit. That's the first pit death so far on the map, I think. So, congratulations for that one. In the meantime, 100% Uber up for the side of Dreamboat's kitchen. They win another SES courtesy of Brian, and Uber now coming out trying to wipe up everyone on the point. Brian doubles up onto Mori, and with that, they get the entirety of the control on E back. But Sakura smartly kited out, so full Uber had gonna go in favor of Ohio Leaf. Yeah, Brian uh, getting more kills throughout that. I mean, it gives the ad over, and most of these kills are coming up the headshots, so Brian really uh, stepping up to the kind of pre-game billing, but the rest of the combo on DK, oh, maybe one. not as much. I mean, that's, I think, three SES wins in a row. At oh, this point, and just find Sakura now. That was drop. That's a full drop. Now the entirety of Ohio's combo are just here with no Uber and nothing going. They do get a decent amount of kills, though, courtesy of Dotwet and Celery, so that is going to buy them spawn time advantages, but make it four in a row. That's a straight Dom coming out onto Buko for Brian. If Brian can keep rolling off headshots, it buys time for his team, but Jacob in position. He tried being here on the last decloak. Goes for it. Finds the heavy. Doesn't get the med, but that's a big kill again on, Sh on Taters. That nines now is kind of stuck in heaven with 100% Uber. This might have to be oh, an end one. Uber, depending on how things go. Gonna use out to get safely across. Gets flashes on from on Snowy. Snowy make that two into the pit right there. Good air blasts from Leaf. Suck the scout and Crump gets red. Go into the pit. <laughs> oh, we're at three right now. But Brian counters back onto Mori, continuing to just rack oh off shots here. Another onto Jacob. Yeah, still another on soccer. Brian is going crazy right now. He can't miss. DT trying to get in their face a bit. It will be very good. Voyager gonna jump forward. Finally shuts down that enemy sniper. And finally with these spawn advantages, we are gonna see Ohio actually take presence on the E point. Yeah, I mean You got a lot of uh you got a lot of extra extra chances when your sniper is outscoring your med by 13 points Jesus. right now. It's 42 points, that's crazy. 20 29 with nines and a leap in salary both at 26. But finally goes down, boys are able to end the reign of terror. And with the constant combo deaths, it may... Kills, actually, it's stalling. Yeah, a lot of kills from the local one that co Ninja neared up behind it. They need to jump on it. Must on it. Oh, the and there comes the yes. It might be Ryan. enough, but... Oh, Brian can't get Leaf. there. <laughs> Leaf able to just barely end it. That was almost another miracle defense coming out. But eight minutes, you will take it if you're, if you're DK. Yeah, especially considering you got rolled through from A to C pretty much in, what, two and a half minutes? Less than three minutes, something yeah. like that? Two and a half, 227. Yeah, so for, from the first part of that defense, it was not looking good at all. Pulling back five minutes on D and, and mostly E, thanks to Brian. Brian is popping off. He's 42 points right now. No one is even close. He's 10 clear of the next, which is a medic. Yeah, I'm checking. Uh, he's 22 and 5. <laughs> 780 PM. <laughs> oh my god. I saw the logs on Koth and I'm like, okay, maybe he's just, you know, having a good game on Koth. But nah, this is CP Steel. If your sniper can just hit all the shots, win every SVS on the peak. And like, yes, he's getting buffed sometimes, but Brian gets to choose. Or, um, or rather, Buko gets to choose, like, where he peaks from. He can choose to peak whatever with a buff to try and get a kill on the sniper. The sniper's gonna be standing in heaven somewhere, right? So. Just really impressive from Brian there to keep the momentum going for the yeah, defense and that's a fourteen percent beam, which is uh, not an insubstantial number for a sniper. Compared to only seven percent on Buka. I mean, hard, it's really hard to bump your offensive sniper, right? Because if your combo is playing Wishbone side and your sniper wants to go JFK or lobby, you know you're not going to be able to get that buff. But even so, it will be uh, will be DK's turn to tend to push. They've given themselves a pretty decent cushion right now. As far as taking at least this first path goes, A gonna get tapped so, up. So, Mori's doing taunt to see around the corner to pop his crit sticks. He will just pop it in the end. It looks like fast exchange gonna come out of Dreamville's kitchen. They already have their medic up close. They figure they have a decent amount of time. Might as well just get things rolling fast. Trying to force them to upper, and they do get dot wet, which is a pretty good kill. Upper now gonna be in total control of Tater. It's gonna force this soldier back down. If he can get a ro an arrow, it'd be good, but will not. We'll get taken down in the end. So, no Uber popped, but they do get that heavy kill. So, we'll see what they want to do with it next. Yeah, I question how much that's going to mean, though, with the telly still being up. They weren't able to get the exit. So, you and, have telly. Uh, 
with this offense. They're rolling out Engineer with a gun onto Heaven. Likely going to build a Tele up there. They have the Soldier Scout uh, escorting. So this is the play for Dreamy Bulls. I wanted to see what their idea would be, but they have the level 3 wrangled at the e-spawn for defense here. Now, this does a lot if you can actually get pressure onto E. In the meantime, Uber Exchange coming through Puffer gets the engineer onto the gun. B. Yeah, Uber Exchange on B, not doing too many frags, but they do have Taters into high ground. High ground control going to be crucial. They will get the kill onto Leaf as well, so no Pyro available. 1 HP onto more here. Taters will go down, and with the banner popped out, the Disney Taters is coming though. out. As he goes down, that med pick's going to be worth it. Voyager pops the banner, but it's not going to be enough. Combine that with a Brian pick onto Leaf, and something the red combo does not have much presence here at all. Nines is a little bit scared to peek out here. Need someone needs to tell them there's no sniper on the point. But finally, DK is walking out of that tunnel. They're getting presence in on point. Jacob gonna look maybe for a decloak here. Yep, goes for a Tater oh, system out way a long time though. Corner. Yeah. Crump just finds Mori around the corner. Voyager and Jacob both gonna go Apples down. In there. He Apples is on Sakura. He slid in right bad, behind yeah. the sentry gun. Uh, I don't even know if you can blame Sakura for that one. She thought she was completely safe behind the sentry gun, but the sentry gun was still building. Apples who slipped in at the one moment he could and get the, got that kill. That's just really good timing. In the meantime, it does look like uh, they were able to get rid of the gun in heaven. So, you know, Celery with a level one up in there. It's getting chipped down, but C probably gonna be free right now. I mean, nines. Full Uber Sakura yeah, just on the shutter as well. Yeah, anyone who peeks that is going to probably go down right away. Yeah, they're not even going to bother. Looks like Mori is uh, maybe heading to E. I'm not sure what this crouch walk business is. But uh, C's going to go he's down. He's still spotting death. Oh, he's got a trap in death. Yeah, yeah. wow. And, I, and you're not even going to get taters with it. That's probably got a sting. But yeah, it looks like the rest of the combo is going to walk death here. They have the full ad right now. I can't even see Sakura. Yeah, everyone's on E right now. They're really not in position to walk through this choke right now. I think they're just giving up D. Yeah, they're planning to give up D. Giving up D is so hard because it elongates your spawn times even more on defense here. And they're just going to Uber in, trying to get whatever picks they can, secure this D capture. But no one's capping right now. They are going to leave Taters alone and will get collapsed on and taken down. So Uber pretty unfocused from Dreamable's Kitchen here. It kind of seems like they just saw red and popped forward, but they don't really get anything off it. Now they have to run all the way back towards their spawn. They do have some kills here, but no space on D anymore. What's a really smart, really smart rotate from Ohio Leaf. Their back's not quite against the wall because he isn't capped. They can still use that spawn. They go back in, and once the Uber comes in through DE and the combo's there, they rotate, take the high ground, drop in on D, kill the remaining cappers. And now what looked like it was a free D cap has turned into some E pressure. Uber. But Sucker Uber comes up. in, nice. Yeah, nines pop up. What a Duking for their life! Oh, oh, that's oh, so oh, sad. Oh, almost gets out. The fancy feet were impressive, but cannot dodge hit scan. He go takes down nines, but Brian gonna get the revenge kill right back in. E cap time is starting to stack up right now. They've got Brian protected by a sentry gun right now. So Mori, you know, abusing the uh, the kind of stairs there to get blind spam onto the point. Nines but is back so fast that. because of the offense spot advantage. A lot of spam going onto the point. It has to be Mori who does a lot of work here. But DT getting some cleanup done in lobby. That's gonna buy a lot of space for Ohio to move around. We'll finally get cleaned up by Apple Zoo. But looks like with that kill. Dreamboat are just rotating off E. They figure this is their time now to take D, and they will get in there before the defense can react. They're gonna try to walk through this tiny choke point, but you gotta be really careful if you are a high leaf. Bleeding here is all Snowy Snowy's chasing out Dot Wet with the pocket pistol is gonna be a really good killer to get the heavy down. So we're gonna go down next, and now D is capped. And the gun's they dead. backed out of the door, so they're gonna have to. The Ohio Leaf combo is gonna have to go in through Wishbone right now. You know, this is a bit of a messy angle to fight from. I mean, they're not gonna have Uber the to the Uber comes out! Oh, you need to make sure they stay alive! And yeah, Nines wow. falls in, the blue Uber is just done for. Level 2 Sentry Gun doing some work, but a lot of kills going on both sides. It is more for the offense, though, with this Heaven Squad. Lita Tater is going to go down in the end, but Crump is still here. So is Applezu. The spam, very hard to get the choke point. Get Brian the choke. backstabbed by a heavy right there. A little yeah, bit too aggressive at the positioning. If Mori gets thing. stabbed here while peeking it, he, the game is over. But Mori going to turn around, gets seen there, but Applezu on the, the flank. flank. Yep, takes down Sakura and Mori, and that should be it. The defense has so long, such long spawn timers, and the offense is all here. Yep, that will in fact be it. Just the flanks keep coming. I mean, Brian put a couple kills, but really was not his show right there. You know, just everyone's coming out of the woodwork, really. I think Apples, who had a ton of kills coming in, just a lot of kills on the Sakura. I mean, more deaths than you would like to see right there, I feel. Yeah, I mean, that, that half, like, okay, we saw A through C of the offense from Ohio Leaf, and we're like, yeah, Ohio Leaf, you know, Highlander veterans here playing Steel by the book. After that, it was all Dream Bulls.
Yeah, I'm looking. Uh, I've, I've got the logs. The Dolphin should have them up for you guys to look at in a moment. I mean, Brian, 28-9. You know, six kills on the offense. Not anything to scoff at. 550 DPM is ridiculous. Uh, obviously, MVP here, right? Like, that's undeniable. That defense probably ends in four to four and a half minutes without him popping off the way he did. But Sakura with 10 deaths in 15 minutes of steel gameplay, you know, really thir 13 and a half total if you take away the setup times, is consistently getting caught out of position. And it's even when you have these, you know, even when you, even when Leeds making these hero plays, you know, to, to blow nines into the pit during the Uber and to, you know, edge that cap in in the middle of, you know, the entire defense in the first half. When you're not able to take those Ubers, it really stings. I mean, Tater's really strong performance. 15 and 8, you know, yeah, looking Tater's around. Very uh, well. Yeah. I mean, Voyager, both soldiers really putting up solid KDs. Both scouts pretty similar. Slightly better on Snowy's end, but, you know, that's going to happen when you're winning. Um... I mean, just the pick classes. I mean, Jacob six and eighteen, not. I mean, okay, not his greatest performance. Uh, like, I'm looking at logs, and obviously, logs are logs. You don't really like, look to them for the exact reason of why the game is won or lost. Brian obviously is a huge factor for Dream Bulls. Like you said, the, the defense ends so much faster if not for Brian popping off. But even if it ends like what two, three minutes faster, that's still a competitive half, right? For a high leaf, that's a winnable half for a high leaf. And Dream Bulls. It's wonderful for both of them if that ends a, a few minutes quicker. What I'm trying to say is that a lot of the, the stats you're seeing don't actually feel like they're impacting the game that much. I, I feel like, yes, Jacob is having a rough game on the stats sheet, but I have not really seen like a Jacob call be made. I, I see on defense after the, the B defense was broken from Ohio Leaf, they really they had the good rotation into D, but after that. They had isolated players in the lobby. They were not ready for the re-rotate back into D from Dream Bulls once they, once they had a charge advantage. And it felt like they were just kind of waiting to roll over. I, I get at that point, you're at such a big deficit that it's hard to make the right call consistently when one bad call in steel defense at that point ends the game. But I really just was not impressed with Ohio Leafs overall game plan. Like, the opener to take B, fine. After that, what was their plan pushing E? Hope that... They, they got an SVS win? Like, there, there have to be ways that you can brute force into lobby or D without a sniper just destroying you. Like, they walked Wishbone, they walked uh, in front of the defensive uh, forward spawn a bunch, and they just got punished by Brian. So, did they really never want to go lobby? Did they really never want to go D? I don't think they even capped D until very late. They never even attempted, I think, after their first death hall push went badly. No, they had, no, they capped, they definitely capped D. They capped it pretty early, actually. They capped D. Because I know death, four, the death They capped badly. D after four four minutes or so. Four but minutes so how, and ten seconds. So how do they have no way to push their spawn advantages that come from like the, the four caps on steel against the defense? That must mean they're just never ever getting a kill, right? And obviously, like Brian is killing anyone who peeks onto E. But you can't like get multiple angles of pressure from lobby through D, from wishbone, maybe have a, someone jump in from from lunchbox. Is it really that difficult to not all get sniped by Brian one by one. It feels like they're they're peeking him like it's an aim map, you know. Yeah, I, I think part of it is that when you give up D, you know, obviously you lose the spawn, right? But a lot of the hold was still with nines and most of the DK combo holding on E with the spawn doors closed, which means that they don't have anywhere to go if you're able to pressure them in. I mean, yes, again, you're down numbers from Brian, but Brian's playing in heaven. Yeah, he's you know only I mean? playing he's in playing, heaven. No well, he's playing. I'll, I'll say this. He's playing in heaven, and he's peeking into Wishbone. That's where the kills are coming from. The kills are coming mm. from those two angles. I did not see any kind of... After the initial decap from Ohio Leap, there was no concerted effort to make use of the fact that... Everyone, they have lobby. <laughs> yeah, that they have lobby. They're, you know, pinned against the spawn. I think Buka was a little bit maybe too eager to win in that SVS. It was literally spawn, run into JFK, or from lobby and die, repeatedly. Yeah, that, that's what kind of point you, of the... Yeah, if you if you escort Buko through lobby, get Buko into D and looking through DE connector, suddenly Brian's now forced to split angles. You know, you get any sort of pressure. There's no health packs there to save them other than up in heaven, and then the players that you have in either wishbone or lobby are able to make more of an impact. Yeah, th that's what I'm saying when I'm saying that I never saw like a Jacob call come out when they were really struggling because. It should not take 
your team four minutes to push steel E when you have decapped. It, it's so easy to get, like, you can trade one for three. And you can still cap that in a fairly realistic amount of time, right? That's just how how bad the spawn timer discrepancy is for the defense when they're in that position. But there was just never a cohesive idea for the offense coming out of Ohio Leaf once they were in that spot. And they kind of just kept walking in, again, one by one into Brian's scope, never really spreading out. And it really showed when the time stretched to eight minutes after capping three in two and a half. You cannot let that happen over again. Yeah, this time though, we will see PK starting on offense. I mean, they put up roughly a six or so minute time. Last half, I want to say, maybe five, somewhere around five and a half to six. So, see how they do in comparison. I mean, I, I mentioned a couple of times soccer getting caught out. So you cannot lose your medic to a solo heavy in upper on the B defense. Like, there needs to be more more of a call. There needs to be more presence there to make sure that doesn't happen. Because that, that put her on the back foot and was really never able to recover from it. Yeah, and mm -hmm. it's, it's props to Taters for that, because Taters, even after dying the first time, went right back to it, knows that he has pressure to work with, and got space there. But that has to be an adaptation from, uh, from Ohio Leaf here. They can't just abandon Upper, when it's so... Upper is so, like... I'm looking at these changes to Upper on, like, the new up, on the new stock steel. Upper is so much better than it used to be, and it used to be really good. There's just so much space to work with up there. If you see that that early in the map, and don't take it back, your defense really can't play. Yep, Brian as well opening up onto Buka. I mean, lots of the eight cappers coming through, not really gonna likely see too much off of it. But it will have Buka to open Brian. Brian, Brian is the one checking for crit stick. He's, he's so yeah, coming around. He's gonna off. swing out. There's no way he swings out. <laughs> yeah, confidence a bit too much, but we'll get a bit of intel, at least on what the sentry gun is, even though it's the same spot every time. And here comes the push into upper. They're shoving in a heavy and a dome, man. And again, that's the play from the side of Dreamful's Kitchen. They just have upper control already. So I was like, gonna take the telly back in. The question is, can they do it? Taters is gonna kill everyone! Taters is killing everyone! Yeah, I mean, they had they had a demo, a soldier, a scout, and a heavy all coming in on that. Taters manages to take two down with him. Now the Uber's gonna come out with the numbers down. Leaf gonna uh, do a good, job, a good job keeping Crump out oh, of shot. range. Oh, shot for Brian. Yeah, Brian able to take out Leaf. They're just a little bit too far out from the Uber, but in comes in Voyager. Again? With a banner. But this is just a solo soldier defensive Uber. I get that they did it in post, but I feel oh, like Leaf denied like, well enough. He's creeping. To. And Tater's gonna find it. Tater's gonna find it. Was pre revved, was waiting for it. So. They find the heavy. That's gonna open. That's gonna keep upper as well. They yeah. got the Kelly exit down. We got more than trying to get space. Drop down onto the platform from Brian. Here comes the bomb from Voyager. One reflect. Nine's gonna surf that one on top of the roof. Voyager gonna go down. So will Jacob. Not able to get the gun on the back end on the heat play. It's desperation walkout right now from the side of Ohio Leaf. They don't have Uber, but they feel like they have to walk out. Buko in the window, trying to find a cheeky pick, but just rockets on his face immediately, and yeah, they're just gonna lose it. Yeah, I mean, just haters single-handedly winning that point there. And the gun now of it, it's had so gun up in heaven, it will go down just as uh, as the point gets capped, but it means that there's no one built up in heaven already. Crump trying to sniff out, see if there's anyone there. Yeah, gonna see. Entire they, they saw, there. Yeah, they saw they entire see them. Combo, they're gonna see. Yeah. Yeah. It's only DT here to spot it. Really, really solid rotation from Green Bolt. They figured that a high leaf knows they're gonna pressure into into BE because they did that last round. So the second they see that combo rotation, they're just like, go see, cap it up for free. And yeah, it's even Uber, by the way. A high leaf, if they had a better position, they could have popped Uber to try to defend this, but they're just in, not in the spot. They have the charge, they don't have the position. Yep, and now let's see how this D push works again, because here again, again the we're gonna see the combo on D. That traps, I think, aren't gonna find anything, but it's gonna be hard for them to get past the spawn door. Then it's choosing the right moment to cross. Leaf's in here harassing. I just wanna see them take the cap here. You know, don't bother hoovering through, but no, we are gonna see an exchange here. Yeah, they did lose a couple of players already. Popper and Brian taken down. No pick classes available. Here's the Uber for the defense coming in, trying to single some players out. They will just leave Taters here as a sacrifice, but Voyager does a good job getting some cleanup kills. In the meantime, main combo force trying to get out. There's a soldier in lunchbox, but Sarah's will clean up that kill, so it will be at the back out for nines. And I like that rotation from Dream Bowl. You know, force the defensive Uber out. You have advanced spawn timers already. Just regroup and lobby and make use of it. And Brian already making use of it. Fine seller, so this gun is just going to go down. I think he's just gradually kind of peeking, chipping it down from Jacob's JFK. going for Brian, wants him. 
Oh, he doesn't get the kill yet. He will end up getting him in the end. Jacob, one HP. Very crucial kill to find. Absolutely, but there's pressure back into D right now. Snowy and uh, Applesy were going to go down, but they found kills onto the defense right now. Saris and Applesy both dead. Jacob's going to be next. They have Uber on point here. Sakura is only at 80. Way better building right now from nines. And this is gonna looking like a really solid uh, potential cap here. We're cool. gonna get aggro up through DE right now, but Paters is now locked in on a Buko staring down it, but they don't have to take it. They want to go, go in. Yeah, they have to go in. They're gonna try Uber Flash. A lot better Uber for the offense here. They're gonna get that flash onto Taters to keep him uh, healthy. Pupper will take down Buko and with Voyager down. Snow is coming in behind from Gap. They're gonna clean up, find Voyager, find Sakura. Will eventually go Absolutely. down. But it's enough, I think. Yeah, that was a big rocket. Takes on the last two defenders on D. It's just the scout now. And DT's dead. Everyone's wiped. That's nearly a full ace. The celery died at the beginning of that. So, I mean, it is technically an ace. The decap's going to go over. The E spawns get locked. And E is fully in five the X. hold of. Uh, three X. <laughs> yeah. No, oh, oh, five X now. Five X, yeah. Scout's here. Yeah, yeah. They're getting it right now. And, and we're gonna, gonna have to see which way they choose to sticks. go. Krupp already has sticks on Wishbone. They're gonna jump a couple players. Wishbone spy. Jacob gonna see. Doesn't see the sticks and it gets two! Massive death from Krupp right there. That is scary. And he gets dog wet! Krupp's on an 8k! He just killed everyone in Wishbone! And, and then on D. It's over! Sub 5. 457, there we go. That is <laughs> impressive from Dreamball, <laughs> honestly. Yeah, and I mean. Mission begins. Brian actually has more points than I thought, but it feels like most of those came off of sniping the engineer, which is absolutely important. But the the combo play was clearly better there, just miles above. Mori has three points on Steel Demo Man on defense. That is rough. Yeah, and I mean, Buko only three points on sniper defense as well. I mean. I don't know how the SVS played into that. I don't think there was that much. <laughs> Buko three points starting Cypher defense. What does Brian get? 42? Yeah, pretty sure. I mean, yeah, Buko two and three on that defense. Got a... Got a pyro and a spy. One headshot that entire round. I mean, just... You know, the SVS was 2-0 in favor of Brian, but that's not the entirety of why your sniper is dropping less than a thousand damage in a, in a full half. Just, I mean, kills are 28 to 20. <laughs> yeah, I mean, okay. Yes, momentum heavily in Dream Bulls Kitchen's uh, favor. I, I would bet they win this round too. But five minutes is a doable time on Steel. It really is, right? You just have to make one good momentum play to snowball like two points in a row. And then you put yourself in position to actually end up winning on the like a chaos push. So. It has to come out for Ohio here. If it doesn't, they will be... They'll, they'll lose they'll lose in record time, honestly. This match will be over before it even started. Yeah, I mean, and not to mention, Ohio Leaf managed to get C in sub two and a half minutes on their first offense. The issue was on E. So, if they can, if they can do a repeat performance on B and then just execute E a little bit better, you're looking at your club. Who go? What gets the drop down shot, coming back into the game, finds the drop onto nines. Mori got a Mori got signed up before, so not an immediate repush right now. But the demo should be back up in just a second. I'm expecting to see an Uber sooner rather than later. Here, Jacob's coming in from behind, I think, and Brian. But Brian finds soccer. <laughs> oh my God, that's so sad. The counter drop. Okay, that play from Buko is so clutch because even if it's like you know it's coming, you have to do something. Your team is in the in the dumps. You have to make a play. And, and look, then your medic is sent on the walkout. And yeah, they're, they're, it's a desperation sack from Ohio Leaf, but that is the saddest way for that to happen. One of your playmakers makes a play that could save your game, and it instantly gets tossed back the other way. And Brian's just back on top of it as well. Got like two big kills there after the medic. And yeah, it's like the round just started. They do have A though, and this is where Ohio Leaf have to make a decision. Do they just all in onto AE? And it looks like the answer is yes. They have their heals going over there. They're going to be starting the 2x. The issue is they don't have a, a sentry gun or a sniper in heaven right now. So teams can just walk out of the shutter and it's going to be leaving the pit immediately. Missed the jump. Yeah, Mori finds Pupper at least. So no defense spy. Oh, geez. Dolphin. Dolphin, we're thinking we're thinking that we hit a uh, we hit a good match. Help just tap. 138 to E on Duddy Dudes. 138 to E. Yeah, so just I mean, that's, straight, I, I, that's, that's a, the help. That's the help right there. 
show up on nope. steel that big. Are there any bad matches this week? I mean, we got the 6 O's, we got the 0-6s, and we've got the advanced move-ups taking down, you know, invite, uh, invite stalwarts right now. Steel week is delivering right here, as the rotations are going to get B for, uh, for Ohio Leaf, so, I mean, Sakura's Uber is just <laughs> now fading. With that one. And, but DG finds nines chasing deep into C, so Sakura's gonna have Ad. They have B, there's still two minutes here. This match yeah, is C, not over. C's free, C's free right now. They are having, they're having a walk-up. Crump can do a lot of damage here. He's the only one out. Will do some good, decent, sticky damage, but Taters gets a bunch of kills over on the other side, but in the meantime, C should be coming through just like that. Mori has the sticks on the shutter, and they're just gonna let it go, so. Two, or 150 on the clock, it's still winnable for Ohio Leaf. They have decent Uberat, because Nines hasn't been charging. Wait, is Nines, Nines is trying to find someone to charge on. And yeah, it's 55% added. Sakura taking some damage, though. Not sure from what. Mori, though, will pick up Apple Zeus, so no soldier. These kills are coming big, 17 in seconds long timers. Kill their med, yeah, but oh, Trump okay. finds Mori in Wishbone. No demo is going to put a huge stop on this. It's Sakura, Sakura though. He's the five. Voyager. Gets one, will not get a second though. It's still an engineer in heaven, but with DT and Leaf 3xing this and a sentry gun from Celery here watching the flank, things could get a bit dangerous. Snowy already dead. Sentry gun will get traded, but here comes the Uber trying to get whatever kills they can into this hallway. They'll find Sarah's only. It's not enough really to keep the snowball going. Yeah, I mean, they want kills, they want pressure, they want space. They clear out heaven, they get some more aggressive stickies, they get cap time off of it. A minute oh, left. Dead. And, but, ooh, Sakura going down is going to hurt here. Buko as well. Brian now onto Jacob. Mori able to get Leaf Brian Lost could dead. Be it. He gets the medic and the pit. Leaf does get that medic kill, but the kills come oh, in for the defense. Oh, and going into the gun, too. That level one staying alive is enough to get the demo into the pit. DT is coming Those in from launch box. Those are spawn timers. Yeah, they're all flooding back to the offense time. They're so short. It's so almost half of three up on beat. It might be a, a win for a high leaf here. They just need to stick on the point here. Defense trying to walk out of those east spawns. Big bomb from the explosive classes, and there's the cap E getting done by Ohio Leaf, and that's going to be a one-one tie. Indeed, it is. You I just mean, it knew looked like something different. like that was going to happen, don't, didn't you? Yeah, I mean, you. I, I don't know. If, I don't know if I'd call that a Jacob Con, but that was just really, really well executed. If they get the kills they needed, I'm glad that Sakura took that Uber when she did. It bought them so much space. Basically wiped out any kind of, you know, presence the defense had. They kind of had, you know, players lingering, guns built up, a dispenser already up in heaven. Able to clear all that out, take control, force DK to push into them. You know, and even with Brian getting a couple kills, even with Sakura going down, Leaf was able to have... Th that air blast into the pit was massive. And then Onto the medic, Trump yeah. jumping on point with a sentry gun nearby. Bit of a bit of an oopsie there. Gets himself blasted into the pit, and that's enough for Ohio Leaf to come back, tie this up 1-1. Yeah, Dreamable Kitchen lost that round with 15 more kills and 2,000 or 270 more damage. The 15 kill difference in the loss is, is, a, is so many kills to lose with, but like, Ohio Leaf did in that round what they should have done in the first round, where you have the cap through C, once the C, once C is capped, right, defense has 17 second spawn timers, yours are like, what, eight at max, seven sometimes? Yeah, roughly seven to nine, probably. Yeah, you spawn like twice as fast as the defense. Just angle yourselves to focus down one player and get the kill. It's fine if you trade. We saw multiple times there, the, the fights come down to like 4v4s or 5v5s. That always favors the offense. You keep fighting on steel like that. You keep getting angles and getting picks by focusing the proper targets, which is like, it's a macro thing, right? You need to know where to come in, where to shoot, and who to kill. And if you can do that, you just win on steel offense. That's just how the map works. Yeah, and I mean, not to mention, even with Brian again getting those kills, they're finding kills on him in these fights. You know, he went top frag, or well, not Crump actually top frag the server, 13 and 2, but Brian had 12 kills, yes, but 6 deaths as well. That's, I think, as many deaths as he had in the entirety of the last half, despite it being significantly longer. I mean, they're able to get kills on him at the right moment, even if he's taking people out, they're able to find those kills back. I mean, ET dropping 12 is big, Voyager dropping 7 is big, you know. The kills, obviously, you know, they're getting out fragged because of that rough start, but they managed to come back from that. They came back from Sakura dropping and spawn. They're able to get in. They perfectly play the rotates. They send their combo, you know, into E. They get the, the DK combo to rotate. They rotate back, get quickly into B, cap that. And then all of the kills they got, they used to maximum value. Yeah, and... It really is those max value kills because it really felt like Ohio Leaf was not going to win that round. I mean, there's so many things that went wrong for them. The 
the, the counter drop onto their medic that stole the momentum, the sack that got absolutely nothing. In the end, they got C with sub two minutes left on the clock, and they just played it perfectly from there on out. You know, like I said, they just got the kills they needed to, kept uh, kept the pressure up, didn't let the defense ever get set. Like you said, that Uber into connector, it got the engineer only, but it's about denying the space. Now the offense has to walk back into you when you have more angles because you're posted up already. Those angles are what's important on steel. If you can just, again, focus down the players trying to walk at you, you will just win. Yep, as you said, that's exactly what they do there. I mean, you know, both teams now probably taking some time to really think back about what's going on there because you, it, you had to have felt so good if you were DK there. You just had, you know, front pulls like an 8K pushing into E. You get a, you get a sub, sub five, five minute, minute time. Yeah. You're very happy about that. Then you open it up with a med drop and you're like, oh, or you open it up, your med gets dropped. You're like, oh, are they going to swing back? Now we got their med. Yeah, you get the counter drop fine. and then the full deny on the sack. You're feeling so good. You're feeling like the nine match points are already in your grasp, but you know, steals the map. You can't actually count the chickens until they hatch. It's so easy for the defense to get snowballed on, on this map if the offense makes a couple good plays in a row, and that's just what happens. Dreamable learns that the hard way. Welcome to Invite Steel. Deed Zag, I've got I've got news. News. What is it? Froggy Land are officially no longer Owen. Ooh. Froggy Land got a dub on the board? Pulling the 2-0 out against Imposters. Okay, well Imposters don't have a win. <laughs> so Imposters took a round off of Dreamy Bull's Kitchen. Dreamy Bull's Kitchen took a round off of Ohio Leaf Village. Ohio Leaf Village took a round off of Duddy Dudes. Yeah, basically, anyone can be anyone. Consider the following. <laughs> Imposters for playoffs. What is this, Season 5? Jeez. No, Season 6. <laughs> season 6. Who is the Pyro on that team? In Expansion Inquisition? position, yeah. Inquisition. That guy was an interesting fellow still is as we are just waiting for the teams to do their halftime chat again this for dream Bowl's kitchen you wanted the nine match points really badly because you are in that playoffs race you have like the matchup next week against hardworking hornets that can propel you into that spot directly but your, your, your schedule is so much harder on the last two weeks than the hornets hornets have nine free match points tonight in theory at least like nine really easy match points they should be grabbing getting the nine here tonight and then winning next week would have been like that would have been eight you know dreamable would likely qualify for playoffs off that unless i think they went oh nine and hornets went nine oh in the final week but now now you're not sure right winning you obviously still want to win six is better than three but it feels like again you had that one in 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 your grasp and you let it slip so now dreamable have to get back to it they have to Realize what went wrong there on defense. They can't get snowballed on themselves like that. Their offense has been solid. I, I've been happy with how they play offense the entire time. They just have to be ready for some, some onslaught like that to come when they're on defense. Yeah, I mean, they've... They've almost been inefficient with the kills they've been getting in comparison to what we just saw, right? Like, the amount of kills they're finding onto Sakura, onto Buko, onto uh, Celery... In that last half, Ohio Leaf only basically needed, like, one... They needed the, the one drop on B, and then a med kill on E, and that was it, really. That was all they needed on, uh... On 9, so they were able to win off that. In comparison, you know, an embarrassment of riches on the side of DK in terms of picks, and that just goes to show that the coordination from Ohio Leaf is there, you know, that off of that offense. They really... I mean, that was a... What, a probably four-and-a-half-minute time? But about, in yeah. some ways, that was really a two and a half minute time. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure about that one, but... Well, the first two minutes of that offense were spent getting your med dropped, and then dropping the enemy med, getting your med yeah, dropped, I, and getting I, yeah. I, I wouldn't say it's like a two minute gap, maybe a one minute gap, because you still have to exchange, and you're likely not getting on the first exchange anyway. So you're basically, like, you're adding a minute for the, the sack and rebuild. Because they're going to rebuild anyway. Right. I've started roughly seven minutes. Sakura dropped a minute in. Mission begins in ten seconds. Yeah, yeah, figure. Five, figure maybe three and a half, three and a half three, minute time. Two, 
Yeah, either way, from from after they cap B, it was a straight shot. They got C instantly with stickies, they rotated into E, got all the kills they needed, and it just was that straight shot. So, again, now we'll have to see what Dream Bull has in response. They're back on defense, Ohio Leaf starting out on offense here. Pupper just dead immediately. Pupper was 1 in 6 last round, by the way, and I didn't really see any well positioned impact coming through. Maybe one gun sap. So, they're one of the players you need to watch to step up in this half. We already have a cap. Dawet trying to peek up the stairwell on B, see what they can do. I see a lot of engineer stuff on E, but it looks like Void or Buko gonna go for the drop down shot again. He has Jacob calling for him, calling where the medic is. Look at this, Nines crouched on the dispenser. Buko going for the drop down shot in a sec. Yeah, but Nines crouched on the dispenser. DT trying to run to force that medic out in the open. Oh, I can't move. Buko has the shot in the corner, but they know he's there. A couple more stems should take him out, and Brian gonna double up there. Cheese does not work twice in the same map. Yeah, they, they, they knew that it was coming down too, I'm pretty sure. Even with Puffer being dead, I think they were just ready for it. A lot of just kind of concentrated fire going in there. Jacob will not Look at Leaf though. Trouble, though. Leaf has the high ground by himself. Comes flanking Leaf somehow and takes him down. That's interesting. But now Dawet is up there alone. If Dawet can walk up, he has a good timing onto the soldier. We'll just stay there for now. We're gonna get spawned around the corner. Apple Zoo gonna get an arrow from the medic and should be advantage for the defense. On the other side of the map, offense is getting some players through wishbone. It's gonna be this Voyager DT duo gonna try to make space but with Mori dead. Oh, Jacob getting really crossed in. Yeah. Getting that spy pick is huge right now. Yeah, yeah Mori and Voyager, Jacob is dead. Forced, DT and Voyager are forced to the C too. They're not in the position to collapse right now. Yeah, it's a good watch this time around. Popper's actually uh, keeping an eye out, which I like from him a lot. He's gonna be calling this uh, flank in and so he's watching for it. So they are aware of it. Likely going to be taking it down. And here comes the Uber exchange onto D right now. Sarah's getting right in there, stuffing it immediately. Counter Uber solo onto the defensive pyro, going to shut it down. So now the question is, what are Voyager oh, going to do with high collapse too in the post? Oh, but he's he's seen. He's taken on a half. He's stuck in spawn. Uh, that's a bad spot. He can't do anything. He's just dead. Yep, kills now coming in favor of Dreamy Bulls. This gun staying alive. Take a look at the sack. Okay, that's it. Voyager, a lot coming in. This kill starting to trickle in. Voyager, look at Google finding three. Gets a number of kills, and DT with the cleaver onto Brian takes him out. Buko coming in big, finds himself a hat trick, some much needed noise from uh, DT flanking nines, nice nice one. Yeah. Trying to get into the wishbone, Jacob with the enforcer will take down that medic, and that's the crucial collapse kill coming in. And now the snowball from a high leaf can really get going. This is exactly what they needed. Once they hit this point last round, it was game over. So we'll see if Ohio Air Streaming Bowl have anything going now with full Uber Dissad. Who's to see what the time's gonna be here? Probably two, a little over two, two I would ish. Guess. Yeah, two, twenty ish. Two forty. And they're already on C with Uber, too. With, and Stick is on the shutter. This cannot be a C contest. So, uh, if you're Dreamable, you have no good options here. You're at full Uber Dis side. They get to go E or D, whichever one they want. You can't respond. And you're still bleeding players. DT just kills two immediately on, on E. These players who are left out, including Crump with no demo man. Who's gonna force this Uber, actually? Yeah, and then I mean they're they're kind of playing this uh, this E defense with nines playing in the the baby door, but let's see is there death a push. death push coming? Yeah, I think push. there is. Yeah, no one's really even in position Pupper, to stop Pupper's it. Pupper spotting it, but it's not gonna be fast. The rotation's not gonna be fast enough. Oh, but they're gonna have height advantage coming on Zuber Buko though. Immediately gets the end. Uber gets forced out. And nine yeah. still has it sitting in spawn. There, I like this. They wait, they bait it out with the threat of the high ground. Now they're likely going to push in through DE. Crump needs to not die Crump here. needs to not die here, yeah. yeah. I don't... A bit of a disconnect with nines. You'd think they'd go in and try to melt them here. They're, they're, they're 98. They want to try and stop coming in. Oh, what a shot by Buko! Buko on the forward spawn! Or gets him, gets him at 99. Not quite a drop, but... Brutal shot, and I mean... Good collapse, that's though. That's probably going to Get Sakura and Mori. D does get capped though, that's the crucial thing for Ohio Leaf here. It's four minutes on the clock. If you're dreamable here, getting one more minute would make such a big difference. They need to just see what they can do. They have a lot of pressure in lobby. They are gonna kill Sakura, Snowy with well-timed flank to get that med kill, and Buko is dead off that forward spawn. So now we might get to see Brian get set and get some kills here. No one really on E yet, the level one center gun being built up, but this wishbone squad is in full force for Dreamable. 
Yeah, um, I'm sorry, what was I going to say? Uh, yeah, the, the wish, defensive wishbone hold is coming Fine. up pretty strong right now. They've got, uh, they've got the guns coming died. through. Yeah, Celery and Jacob both dead. Yeah, so much Sakura walks into the gun and dies. Yeah, that was an entirely rockets. unforced death right there. back someone to Mori. Yeah, that's the wishbone squad coming in. Dreamable, uh, that time around, they kept enough players alive that they actually have a reef contest in from Wishbone, and the Sentry Gun does so much work, Apple Zoo does so much work, and like I said, one more minute they'd be happy with, but now they might get even more than that. That was alone in heaven, if they can clean him out, that would be huge. But look at Voyager! 3k! In the back lines, it gets the drop! That might just immediately end things. You, you felt like Dreamy Bull had a chance there to stall a bit longer, but now they have nothing. They have no space, they have no Uber, they have no players. Test, test, am I coming through? Yeah, now you are. Sorry, yeah, a bit of a mic issue. But yeah, they have people on point. They have players in heaven. There's a med now holding heaven with a demo and a soldier. Mori's going to catch Crump with a stick, and we'll see pause. a pause coming. I, this has to be in the next half. Yeah, like a halftime pause because someone needs to reconnect or something. Yeah. We have a... Oh, I'm not going to ask that question. Mm -hmm. I was going to ask Tiger Tech, but it's better than I don't know, honestly. Yeah, I mean, that's the issue with holding Wishbone, right? Is that it can be really hard to push into from the lobby side. I mean, Voyager but, just destroyed it by himself. Yeah, if you don't have if you don't have anyone watching the Sea Cliff, any one player can come in, kill your entire combo for free. And that's exactly what Voyager does. Not only that, but gets the drop. It is attack, I think. We're getting confirmation? Tech, tech. okay. Tech. Okay, technical. Someone's having connection issues. Well, that's good, because then you know it's not like a 90-second teams like wanted to talk. It's more like someone just happens to be disconnecting 90 seconds from now, so... This round could stretch out for any number of time, but likely not going to be much time at all because, like I said, Ohio Leaf have total control of E. They have Heaven with a buffed soldier. They have Demoman sticking D. Nines might explode the second uh, pause gets unpaused, by the way. 120 HP, Rocket Sticky fly in their way. Yeah, I mean... If, if Nines hits their A key, they die, I'm pretty sure, once this gets unpaused. Oh, and... Uh, Hit, hit Think D. of it, and it happens. Hit D, cap safe. was actually cap was a lot less capped up than I thought it was. Yeah, just yeah. now coming up to halftime, but Fuko finds the kill onto Brian. Good Good assassination though. right there. Leaf though ends up in the pit. Look at Apple Zoo. One yeah, yeah Apple Zoo's getting to the point. On the point. But there's, there's a gun. There's, there's, there's a gun the helping him. <laughs> Voyager just knocks the enemy soldier off and gets the mid kill. Where Voyager ends that on a 9k, 25 points. That's an MVP round. Voyager. Okay, Voyager knocked off. The gun knocked him off. Okay, but the rocket pops him into the air, which lets the gun do the work. Yeah, everyone's favorite ulti duo map. Ulti duo underscore level one sentry gun. I mean, sometimes that happens at like 4 a.m. when one person goes engineer, you know? Ulti. You're tired, tired of ulti duo. World's worst ulti trio. <laughs> Alright, overall time. Uh, I, it's not 350, right? Is it 350? It should be, yeah. Oh, Seems about right. Like HUD. Yeah, 551. Oh, 551, really? Yeah, okay. I'm like, there's no way it's 350. 559 or 1 Dolphin? Because the trims are 9. I hit a retry. Okay, 6 minutes on the clock. If you're dreamable, that could have been a lot worse. You pushed 5 minutes last offense, you pushed sub 6 in your first offense. Th this one could go either way. Yeah, I mean, this is this is right around the cusp of what DK's been able to push. I mean, Brian, again, top of the scoreboard for his team, but right up there with Vuka right now. So Vuka's going to show the same amount of life we saw from him that last half, and I think it spells good things for Ohio Leaf. But, I mean, oh, it could be, maybe this, maybe this is the time where we say one of the spies' names. Who knows? Yeah, I have not seen a single spy make, like, a really big play. Like, I saw one backstab onto a demo man on E, and that's really about it. If, if now would be the time to make yourself known, then you can win it for your team. But A, it's going to get capped up like normal for now. Any cheesy stuff going to come out of Dreamable is the question. I don't see a sniper in drop down, and I don't see a lot of players going into E, so it might just be a straight B force right now. Jacob going to be calling that no one's coming through to E, so defense going to be single-handedly focused. Bro, he's in the, he's in the... He just runs in and oh, starts the VR. What a play. <laughs> Look over on the B side, though. Crump did just get sniped out by Buko. Where is Brian? Scoping through main right now. Trying to take yeah. the SPS. Just gonna swing out, let on fire, but Buko standing in with that cozy camper takes down the sniper. Big SPS win, but Mori bleeds out there. 
Just got pumped to the side. And Leaf, Leaf as well. That is so bad for the defense. Crouching Puna's hidden painters. No one can lower anymore. Heavy has to go lower. Upper is free. Yeah. And we know we know what Taters is going to do once he's gotten control of Upper. Good use of the ge of the geometry there to get some spam onto him. Upper's going to go down, but gets the gun for it. Uber is coming in. It's oh, finding time for the spawn. Taters. They have to leave. Yeah, Taters doing so much up top, forcing the back. Gets the banner out. Doesn't even matter. Finds the kill onto Void. He drops down. Gets, gets the, the pack. pack. Needs help from the team though. Pump trying to get the teleporter, so they're not actually committing to that help. Brian, though, big sniper kill onto the demo man now, so with Mori dead on the respawn, Crump gonna be able to walk out that and get some space. Dropping? Yeah, find Sarah. It's not the most valuable kill, but at least you have a good position there. Pupper should know. They should know. They, they should know. Yeah, Crump gonna see it. Question is, can Crump do anything? Jacob's peppering the revolver. Great shot by Brian. That one saves his demo man. And now Crump has the high ground here. Buko too far forward in no man's land. Crump, though, gonna be the oh, next Crump man blood. walking up to this area. Gets yeah, killed Mori's instantly. Uncontested. But Pater with a beam now. Not gonna go down to that level one dead anyway. And starting to control some space here. Cap time on B and E coming in right now. Snowy. Yeah, just, the folks uh, on B though. Dancing around E. To Apples be a snook off the point, and now without soldier at demo, there's no explosives to stuff this choke. It has to be Taters. He's the only one who can get close. Crump on the respawn, finally getting through. But here comes the Uber. 100% for both sides. Nine's gonna flash as many players as possible. Meanwhile, Sakura keeping it on three. So defensive Uber is actually better despite coming out first. Mori, big stickies, but can't quite get the kill onto the medic. Dawet gonna try to swing out. He's gonna get shredded some damage, but oh, a well player gets some cleanup. Apples with the bump. Yeah, fade away, Rocky. Gets Sakura, and that one should be it for B. Yep, Dawet's gonna go next. Lots of defensive players here, but they are scattering. Buko staying in for one more shot. No, trying to go for the glory shot. Cannot find nines. Nines on only that one. About nine health right there. That one came down to so many small, small things happening. So many players left on one HP on their health bars. Great rockets, great stickies. So much happening there on B, but in the end it falls in the way of Dreamy Bowl. And now C getting through. Great pipe by Crump to deny DT on his jump out. Just gets one shot off the map. And now 85% Uber for nines and Dreamy Bowl. They're going to get C for free. Sticks on the shutter. So again, it's it's a hard ask for a high leaf village. Remember how easily offense can snowball onto steel. Yeah, they'll have about 220 here after the C cap. Full Uber now looks like it's going to be going through death. Mori, though, finds Crump on the death trap. No demos here. Might it make him reconsider. Taters is in a bit of an oh, awkward this is spot. Really They're bad. just going to use it anyway. This, this is really bad for Dreamable. Yeah, this Uber is not going how they want. Everyone's They're already back to, in the spawn. They're escape onto E, but they're about to get flanked in the back by three classes. They're all going to die here. Nine's not yep. going to make it out of that area. It's just... You can't go through death like that when you are like when you don't have the, the means to hold your push. I get they got caught out by a trap. It, it was a really good trap by Ohio Leaf. They set up ends on both sides once they had the demo end pick. They, they essentially trapped the offense in there. It was such a good play by Ohio Leaf. Yeah, we're going to see Brian, though, take out Celery. So it's <laughs> Leaf is just defending that gun with his body right there. Brian SBS is about to pop off. on the spawn, yeah. Peeking in from Lobby. Oh, finds Voyager of all one. things. Brian going for the repeat. You're going to find a I'm just trying to block the shot, I think. I don't something. know. Brian's swinging in oh, again. This SS is, is huge. He gets here. the, 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 the NG and the gun. Why would he pick up his gun? Why would someone pick up the sentry gun? It's just dead. Yeah, Buko's going to find Brian, but losing the gun is such a big loss. That's said only a minute, though. And they're starting and Dog can't Buko. get rounded in lobby. They're already down four, but they have a gun and players on E right oh, now. Hit. Nine is on 70. Soccer will down. Yeah, Koga's in the pit, but the, there's three players in the pit. Big Rockets from Voyager, one HP on Nines. Surfs out over the pilot's head and lives! Nines back oh, to the pack. I'm feeling it, Zag. This one's coming down to the wire. Nines has seconds. Uber right now. Second they see any sort of defense, they're gonna watch, pop right watch here. Watch Buko. They're just gonna pop melee. I like that. I like it a lot. But they get Taters. That's a big thing to find. That, that, yeah, getting that heavy is big. Oh, Taters is gonna so right now. Sakura, of course, alone on B, gonna be ignored because the point is just more important. They have so many cappers on it right now. Look at Jacob Buko. going for the decal, gets the gun sap, but we'll come down to Brian. Oh, it gets capped. That's it. Dream Bulls wins. That one that was. I, crazy. I knew it from the start, Zach. I knew it from the start. <laughs> Dude, wow. celery, celery is going to be wondering why he right clicked this sentry gun for the next week. Yeah, Brian had more kills on celery in heaven than I think any other player. But even if like, he gets was... the engineer, because you okay, celery swung out wide. You should never swing out that wide when you know the sniper's peeking you, and you know the sniper's peeking you. He just killed their soldier from that exact angle, right? Why would celery swing out of heaven 
out of the safety of like the, the wall that you can just crouch behind to pick up the gun. I, I don't understand. That that was I don't want to say that was the like the, the one thing that threw the round away, but with 29 seconds on the clock, giving up your wrangled sentry gun for free, it, it's such a, a swing in the opposite direction. Yeah, I I mean I I I didn't see what happened to get Sakura killed at the end there because that's entirely possible that's that's likely what what it could have been if there's an uber there then things are probably looking pretty different i mean just the the e pressure even though they lose four people in lobby they get everyone set up on e they force everyone off it they're able to get the gun you know they got the soldier out right they're able to find buko i'm pretty sure and then they just get set up and it's the same thing we kind of saw in the uh in the first half they get in on e they get set up and say, okay, we're going to take this Uber to zone you out, make you push in on us, and they're not able to. Dolphin, when you get me combined logs, I want to see if the spies combined had more than... Okay, all the over-under for the spies combined kills this match. 12. Uh, Definitely over. They both had six in the first half. Okay. Under... Uh, I I under could see under 20. 20. Yeah, under 20. 20. I think... I think... I think they each had six in the first half. I think they had one and two. One and two, and then like the one and three. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't looked at the third half yet, but. Yeah, not a... And I mean, you know, Steel may be more of a comms map than a frag map, but definitely not a... Uh... It just feels bad yeah. to die Not a game like to remember for either, yeah. for either Spies, I think. I mean, shout out to Mori. Came alive in that second, in that last half. It felt like... It felt like Crump had Mori's number at the start, but Mori came into the match more and more. Crump had some really bad deaths on that, like on that last half. Dude, on that initial offense in that third half, Ohio uh, Voyager went all ten and one. <laughs> Voyager played super well. Nineteen under twenty. <laughs> we got it. Yeah. Brian, fifty-six kills on the day. Four twenty DPM. Blazing up the server. <laughs> Boo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, ultimately, though, right? For high leave, I don't think you're too concerned. Yeah, it's I, steel. I think that ultimately, they the the half that they took off of, um, the half that they took off of dudes should put them in a pretty good spot right now. Well, I, in, terms, in terms of seating, yeah, they're fine. Uh, yeah, I think if they, I think they play help next week. That'd be an interesting match, actually, because help have like week after. Ooh, they, says. No, no, they play. They play uh, them next week. Oh, oh, oh yeah, land, land break. Yeah, but no one plays anyone next week, so yeah. I only count weeks by when I cast, so this next <laughs> week is just this next. This is just going to be one very long week. Yeah. Okay, that matchup specifically interesting because help, like, yeah, help is very clearly like a good team. They're a playoff team this season, but. We don't know exactly where they stand in the realm of like see like seeds two through five. You know, they they could be anywhere to be honest. Oh, I'm so hyped, man! That DK is making playoffs competitive because it means we have meaningful matches here that aren't just casting help repeatedly. Duddy dudes did manage to pull out the two one though against help. Against help, they dropped the half in the one thirty offense because I mean that's gonna happen. They yeah, the sucker punch. They don't sometimes. let it happen a second time is maybe the more important thing. What do we have next week? Next week has Ohio versus Help. Which should be good. And DK versus Hornets, which... That one has to be the cast, right? Because that's the playoff decider more uh, likely than not. Probably. I used that logic to justify casting Rib versus Help last week. I'm just... I'm so down on Hornets because they lost Scout. And yeah, I, 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 think I was they had, last week I think to see had... the, uh, the fallout of that. Yeah, they, they got 4 would by Ohio Leaf. It, it wasn't... It wasn't particularly close. Um, which, I mean, is still probably losing to the one and two seeds, but... Oh, they... Them against Dream Evil's Kitchen on Cascade, of all things. Uh, Cascade, got Cascade, I love back. Cascade back. Not to mention, it's the old Cascade. It's not Pub Cascade. It's RC1A. I don't know which one that was. <laughs> There's been so many Cascades. So, that's... Oh, yeah, that's probably got to be it. I'm really, 
I'm really interested in, in Ohio Leaf versus Somebody Help because if Somebody Help wins that, then suddenly, really, all the two, three, four seeds are up for grabs. If oh, if Help beats Ohio Leaf, and DK beats Hornets, I think Help jumps for the two seed. Ohio Leaf is probably three. And then yeah, the question DK's is how much that really four. matters, right? Because I feel like no matter who hits two through four, two and the two three match is gonna be competitive. And I feel like one four is gonna be pretty one sided. I don't think it matters well, that much. Well, Dolphin, I was thinking we have the longer invite regular season. Do we know how invite playoffs are gonna work? We're not doing like a, a six team, uh, one and two seeds get bye weeks. Classic. Well, no, I, I think what I'd be interested in getting confirmation because I, I'm i skeptical of the fact that they added two weeks of the invite regular season and then they're just going to have it go two weeks longer. I think they tried to slim down playoffs, so maybe there's a possibility. Four team double, so same Four as before. Team double, so, so same as always. Then. Yeah. Okay, I was thinking there was a chance that they might do a... They did it in Prolander one season where one two seed play each other week one in the upper bracket. And three, four play each other in the lower. So, like, whoever loses that first week between the three and the four, so you get eliminated instantly. But if it's full double alien, then we just got a long season coming in. Yeah. And once again, congratulations to Dreamy Bulls Kitchen for pulling that match out. That one puts them very firmly in the playoff hunt. In the meantime, got to do some shout outs. First of all, RGL merch, rgl.merch.gg. You can check out all of our cool designs for the RGL Philly land coming up. We got shirts, backpacks, desks a desk mat, some really nice stickers and pins, a lot of cool stuff. All the proceeds go towards helping RGL fund its league and its events like the Philly land. So check them out. You like something, pick it up, help support some competitive TF2. Yep. And I think, do we also have the master config quick play? So they've been putting up some pump servers back to the old, you know, the, the quick play of your, the good old days, if you want to get in there and uh, they've been doing some pretty good work. So I think, what is it? Dolphin exclamation point quick play in chat yep exclamation point quick play so check that out as well Zag, i missed you last week i had to do all the the promotions all myself. the plugs by yourself and i didn't i didn't do as good of a job as you do you couldn't get watson to do any what i wouldn't put that on him <laughs> i want i want him to come back and cast again <laughs> i think uh i think that's gonna just about do it from us so what we thought may have been a done and dusted playoffs chase is actually getting some last minute life thanks to dream people's kitchen so Good to see them pull out the upset win today. As you said, they are firmly in the hunt. We've got some meaningful games being played in the last two weeks. Could not ask for anything more. As uh, you may have gathered from, from our one side of talking to Dolphin, with land, with the land being next week, there will be no cast. So uh, next match will be on the 29th of July. Everyone's going to be up in Philly on the 22nd. So there will be more. That said, you know, no Highlander match. There will still be casts. Uh, going on throughout the land i would have to imagine so stay tuned for those over the course of the weekend should be a lot of fun always a good time when we get the land going but uh i think that's gonna do it from us so zag any final any final thoughts no nah, really cool match and uh excited to see how the season plays out indeed so thank you all for watching i'm also for zag for dolphin for everyone here at rgl thank you for watching and uh we'll see you in two weeks and the rest of you at RGL Land.